so good morning my dear aspirants of army dental corps today i'm going to give you the questions which are being asked by the panel in adc interview and i hope in this particular questioning would be benefit for everybody those who are going for army dental corps interviews students the very first question they are asking more about the general knowledge and uh, i have seen that uh, most of the questions they are asking zk part although in emc they are asking less zk and uh, in capf they are asking more zk but here the questioning criteria is different they are asking more zk here so it's not compulsory that uh, you will get the same panel but yes now that what has happened you can ask from friends also that yes uh, they are asking gk questions all other is your introduction prepare best because they are asking your hobbies most of the time in emc forms they are giving you opportunity to write your hobbies but here that in your form filling activity there is nowhere written about your hobbies so you have to prepare your hobbies accordingly because in interview they would definitely ask what are your hobbies and accordingly they would ask the questions most of the medical questions are asked from extractions and surgical questions are being asked mostly so prepare those questions better be helpful to you all other is uh, the your city like suppose you belong to any place then uh, majorly that district i uh, especially recommend my students that don't tell about town or village you belong to suppose you belong to any small town don't tell about it you tell the district you belong to that is more better because once you ask a name some town or some district then it would be easy for you to tell more about the district rather than a small town because there are no more words and they directly say you tell about your city tell about this then you must have few words and prepare accordingly and then your swot analysis this is mandatory i can say for every doctor because not only here when you'll go for other interviews also in your life you will find very beneficial but here they are asking what are your strengths mostly weakness uh, not asked yet but about your strong points about your credentials about your achievements they are asking and please prepare one important question that is about your interns what you did because they would ask you like this what you learned in your interns what you did special in your interns and in that if you say anything you say sir i did extractions i did this i did that or i got an opportunity in surgeries these these surgeries so if you state those things then it would be a benefit for you because they would ask you question based on that so while giving answers or while uh, you should be very diplomatic i can say you should be like as if they are asking a question and you should tell the name of the topic or surgery or anywhere you are expert in it in the topic then only name the topic because they are going to ask you question based on that few of my students who have intimated me regarding the questionings so i am sharing from this angle only so i hope uh, if you ask from your friends also you'll find the same pattern is going on and in intro please remember one thing like when you are speaking anything about your personal life questions for example they would ask you question based on your personal life professional life or professional questions also so if you prepare these questions and if you speak up then communicate with them in english as if like no other language i don't allow uh, especially amc students as well as uh, army dental corps also i prefer you should speak in english and while speaking you must have eye contact with everybody you know very well there is one psychologist sitting and uh, all others are doctor so it's upon you how they ask questions and how you are responding if you are responding positively then they will appreciate it like suppose uh, they ask any question from you like they ask tell us about your family and yes sir and then you can answer with more confidence you feel as if yes he is very confident and in answering the questions but most of the time what is happening we are reciting the answers as if we have learned something don't recite so practice in such a manner that you are speaking in a natural way it's not that you have crammed somewhere the questions and you are speaking up this is not the right way and definitely they are asking questions from every angle to see your personality also because in intro it's not only the knowledge which they are checking they are checking the overall knowledge are you reading newspapers so i believe that you must uh, read newspapers of almost a week back current what is going on even the war or the what is the current news if anything and if you want me then i'll definitely write few current news for you and i'll i'm sending it to you uh, through pics or whatever in the description box i'll send but the important is these topics and all other is when you'll go they'll make you in a comfort zone first of all they'll allow you they'll say yes come in and uh, when you come in uh, stand straight near the chair and wish all everybody and when you wish they'll say yes gentlemen have your seat and when you sit down say yes sir oh sir speak two words either say sir it means i'm ready 
Yes, sir. I'm ready. Means as you say, sir. It means I'm ready. Sir. Yes, sir. Speak like this. They'll feel yes, very confident person he is. Then they'll talk with you and uh, make you comfortable, uh, give you a comfortable join also. Then they'll ask questions and if you speak good answering, they'll come up with a better level. They want to see that how much upper level you are having and they're experts. So we can't uh, compete ourselves with them. If anywhere you are lacking or you feel as if that you are right and they are wrong and they might be judging. So you can say, sir, since you are my senior, I'll definitely check uh, it again, sir. No problem. I'll confirm it again, sir. No problem. What I read is this, sir. But somewhere, sir, since you are my senior, you're having good knowledge. So definitely, sir, I respect your words. I'll check it again. Means resolve the uh, conflict as early as possible. This is more better rather than just disputing and all this. One of my dentist has uh, intimated me, sir. One of the girl was there. She was uh, just uh, uh, shivering as if that she's suffering from cold or like uh, flu. So I told that why this happened. She said, he said that, sir, uh, might be a fear of interview or uh, it's a phobia. So I told that she must have practiced uh, before. Like it's not compulsory. You should uh, join anything and then only achieve the success. You can even give interview to your uh, seniors, to your respected parents, your teachers. Practice mock pressures as early as possible. And don't be a football of everybody's lack. Like suppose you are taking everybody's uh, concern, like what is the, my feedback? Then they are not well experts. So I suggest to you that you can give interview to everybody, but don't expect the best feedback from everybody and don't take also. They are well experts in interview program or interview preparation. Only then you can take their feedback. Otherwise you can give interview. This is the best way. Even you can give interview to your uh, younger brother, sister. You can give it to your any of your siblings, but it's not compulsory that you should take their uh, feedback because they are not mature enough. Even people from the different professions may take your interview. For example, your father is an ex-serviceman. He can take your interview. But if you ask, sir, father, please give me my feedback. Then I don't suggest you should take the feedback because you know better about yourself and they're not experts in interview. So I don't suggest to you that you should adopt everything what they said. Might be some of the strengths become your weakness. So don't let everybody tell you that what is your loopholes. So it's sometimes uh, demotivating, I say as it. And in weakness, please remember, you're not supposed to tell misery weakness. Don't tell, sir, I'm impatient, I don't have patience. Or you can say, sir, I'm short tempered person. Such weaknesses, please avoid it. You can say weaknesses, but it should be minor. Then you can state, if they ask even. Most of the people are telling about their family in their introduction. So I especially concern them, please avoid it. Like suppose you'll go in an intro room and they'll ask you, yes, please give your introduction. And you will say, yes, sir, my name is this and two, three lines about yours. And then you'll say, sir, my father is it, my mother. Is it. What is the sense of this? It's better you should tell more about yourself. What are your credentials? What are your achievements till yet? What you learned in interns? And sometimes they ask a very good question. What you learned in your college life? Like they can ask you about interns. They can ask you about your college life like this. And sometimes a very good question they ask is what your friends tell about you. So here you can say anything. It's your choice, competitiveness or whatever you want to use the word. It's not compulsory. It's your totally strengths, confident, punctual, honest, creative, determined, dedicated, hard work, optimistic, positive attitude. But it should reflect in you as if yes, you are a dynamic person and these things are reflecting in you. This is the best way. And uh, sometimes they ask negative questions like suppose you are not selected, then what you will do? So you should have a better answer for that also. Then they ask you suppose you are selected and this is a situation in front of you. Now what you will do? So situation based questions also you must know. This is also very much important. Although the questions which I'm giving you are taken from the feedback of uh, my students, yet it's not compulsory that you should prepare only these topics. I suggest you should prepare everything around you. Like you must prepare some ZK, you must prepare about yourself and better that you must prepare some uh, topic which are from medical concern because this is sure that they'll ask you medical portion. This is sure. And uh, the better is your personality. If you make your personality better, if you speak with more confidence, you show as if that you are a very confident personality and they'll give you good marks. And still, if anything is pending and if you felt as if that sir hasn't told about these topics or like this, then please write me on uh, the comment box anywhere you feel as if. Definitely we'll respond to you positively. And if any question in your mind and you are lacking in it in answering the question, you can ask from us. No problem at all. We are ready to help you out. Thank you very much for enjoying this video. Thank you.